everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at the 357 Magnum in the Hunter Call of the Wild. It was one of the first weapons that uh, come with the Hunter of the Call of the Wild. And uh, we're going to shoot it at uh, 50 meters, uh, 55 yards today. We have some thoughts about taking bobcats and coyotes with this weapon. So we want to get a little range time in. I thought I'd shoot it a little bit and show you what uh, it looks like and sounds like. really has a good sound to it. Uh, we've got it paired with the glow-in-the-dark green sights. I think it helps you get a little bit better um, view of the sights, especially in low-light conditions. Some of the coyote hunting we're going to be doing is going to be later in the evening. Uh, in low light conditions. So let's shoot this 357 and see what we can do. First shot was a little low and to the right. I haven't shot this gun in a while. That's why we're doing this. That one's a little bit better shot. We're trying to get this dialed in. Uh, Getting up on these coyotes and bobcats close is a difficult chore. In fact, I tried to do a little filming this week uh, to get my coyote on film killed with this gun. I tried for two hours to get a clip for y'all and it just didn't work out. So we're going to have to go back and try it again. I do appear to be dialed in. This gun is rated 2 to 6 on the size animal scale of what it's capable of taking. I do have the flat nose bullets in it instead of the hollow points. I think the flat nose gives you just a little extra punch. Um, that's pretty good at, at 50 meters. I think we're happy with that. I hope you will subscribe to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, notification bell, so you know when I drop some videos. We're going to have a video uh, or two coming out here in the next day or so. Thank you.